Hello everyone and welcome back to the Loss of Brian Fagan's YouTube channel. I'm Brian Fagan, an attorney here at the firm, and today we're going to touch base on an extremely important topic for all Texans. What does a CPS investigation look like in the state of Texas? But before we dive in, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable legal insights. Your support helps us continue to provide you with crucial information on Texas family law. Child Protective Services, or CPS, plays a vital role in safeguarding the welfare of children across Texas. Their primary goal is to ensure the safety and well-being of all children who may be at risk of abuse or neglect. A CPS investigation typically begins when someone, often a teacher, doctor, or neighbor, or a, even a family member, makes a report to the Texas Department of Family and Protective Services. These reports can be made anonymously. To help you understand better, let's take a look at a real-life scenario involving the Smith family. The Smiths live in a quiet Texas suburb and they have three children, Emma, James, and Olivia. One day, Emma's teacher notices bruises on her arm and becomes concerned. She decides to make a report to CPS because she suspects child abuse. Once CPS receives the report, they assess the credibility and urgency. In an urgent case, they may act swiftly involving law enforcement if necessary to ensure the child's immediate safety. CPS investigators visit the family's home to conduct interviews with the parents, teachers, and any other relevant individual. They want to gather as much information as possible to make an informed decision. CPS investigators evaluate the child's living conditions, health, and safety. They may also interview the child's separately, always keeping their best interest in mind. Based on the gathered information, CPS will make one of three determinations. Ruled out, meaning they find no evidence of abuse or neglect, unable to determine if the evidence is inconclusive or reason to believe, if there is credible evidence of abuse or neglect. In the Smith family case, if CPS determines reason to believe, they may take various actions, such as providing services to the family, removing the child from the home temporarily, or even court intervention if necessary. It's crucial to understand if your family is involved in a CPS investigation, you have rights. You have right to legal representation, and it's often advisable to consult with an attorney who specializes in family law to guide you through these challenging processes. In conclusion, a CPS investigation in Texas is a complex process aimed at protecting children from abuse or neglect. It's crucial to cooperate with CPS, but also know your rights and seek legal advice if needed. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. The Law Officer Brian Fagan is here to support you through these complexities of family law. If you have questions or need legal assistance, don't hesitate to reach out and schedule a free 30-minute consultation with our experienced team. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook to stay up to date with the latest legal insights and news. Thanks for tuning in today. Your support means the world to us. And we are committed to helping you navigate the legal aspects of your family law case. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope it was both helpful and informative for you. At the Law Office of Brian Fagan, we are here for you. So please let us know how we can help you with your family law, estate planning, or criminal defense matters by calling our office today at 281-310-5563 to schedule your complimentary consultation. You can find all of our social media info in the description below. And if you would like to stay updated on all of our videos, events, and promotions, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the notification bell.